everyone welcome to Gromit guys this is a video on the biochemistry one-liners uh, which are asked in the FMGE in the biochemistry you must mug up a lot of things like uh, the enzymes the name of the enzymes the reaction what they catalyze their cofactors the pathways the cycle and also the chemicals which are involved in the pathways so let's make it a little easy uh, let's discuss certain questions which are repeatedly asked and along with that we will also see certain important topics from which the questions have been asked repeatedly so let's start uh, the first question the Kazal's necklace is seen in uh, it is seen in the disease called as the pellegra a very very important topic repeatedly questions are asked on the pellegra image based and also clinical case so let's discuss certain points related to this pellegra like it is due to the niacin deficiency that is the vitamin b3 so questions are asked one liner that uh, which of the following disease is caused by the niacin deficiency or else they will be giving you certain features like the four d's which are seen in this the dermatitis dermatitis dementia diarrhea and the death uh, so usually these three things are given in the question and and describing a photosensitivity rash and ask you to make the diagnosis or ask you to find out the enzyme deficient so here we have completed a very very important topic uh, the pellagra and the niacin deficiency uh, then moving on a vitamin deficiency that causes tingling sensation and it is vitamin b6 which is also called as pyridoxine so you need to remember the uh, names of the vitamin along with the numbers which vitamin is called as what because to confuse you they'll give either the name or the number okay and then marker of the b1 deficiency b1 also called as the thymine so the marker for the b1 deficiency is the rbc trans ketolase also very important question asked multiple times as a one-liner okay then uh, moving on to the poor wound healing it is seen when there is deficiency of the vitamin c there are other one-liners asked in relation with the vitamin C like the vitamin that helps in the absorption of the fat. So the other one-line questions asked in relation with the vitamin C are the vitamin that helps in the iron absorption or the vitamin required for the synthesis of the type 1 collagen. So the answer for all these questions is the vitamin C. Uh, by looking at these points, you'll be able to also solve the clinical case uh, because they'll be describing uh, the features like poor wound healing then bleeding gums and and scurvy so you'll be able to fi find that uh, the patient has the vitamin c deficiency then megaloblastic anemia is seen due to deficiency of the vitamin b12 and the b9 the folic acid and the b12 okay so another very uh, popular question asked is the neural tube defects neural tube defects a five star topic you need to remember all the points along with the images asked in the integrated with the anatomy or gynecology ops so uh, if there is deficiency of the vitamin b9 the folic acid a uh, neural tube defects can be seen so the other variant of this question is the neural tube defects can be prevented by the supplementation of uh, which vitamins and the answer is the folic acid the vitamin b9 a very important a very very important topic a must do then moving on to uh, the next question the most important antioxidant the vitamin which is most important most potent antioxidant it is the vitamin e then vernicase encephalopathy it is due to the thiamine deficiency that is the vitamin b1 and it is usually uh, seen in alcoholics chronic alcoholic patients uh, this vernicase encephalopathy is seen and this is also a very important topic uh, multiple times the questions are asked on this vernicase encephalopathy and usually a case question is asked case clinical case question is asked that a chronic alcohol comes to the emergency department uh, and complains of with confusion and ataxia confabulations uh, so which vitamin deficiency can be found in this patient okay so you need to uh, choose the answer as the vitamin deficiency then the next question the marker of the riboflavin deficiency a uh, riboflavin the vitamin b2 and the marker is the glutathione reductase so these were certain important uh, one-liners asked from the vitamins topic vitamins and the deficiencies are very important topic uh, in the biochemistry uh, repeatedly questions are asked from this then moving on uh, the Menkes disease it is due to the deficiency of the copper and also one-liners are asked on the gene mutation that is the ATP7A gene is mutated in the Menkes disease uh, likewise uh, the case 
Keshan disease. It is due to the deficiency of the selenium. Also asked as a one-liner multiple time Keshan disease. Zinc acts as a cofactor. It acts as a cofactor for various enzymes like the carbonic anhydrase. Then alcohol dehydrogenase and lactate dehydrogenase. So questions can be given one-liner uh, that zinc as a acts as a cofactor for and any one of these will be given in the option or uh, they can ask that zinc acts as a cofactor for all except so the except one you need to choose it then the next question selenium is a cofactor for glutathione peroxidase this is also asked multiple times then acrodermatitis enteropathica a very very important topic okay it is due to the zinc deficiency and it also shows features like dermatitis dementia so they'll be given a image or a history of the uh, rash in the genital area and in the lips and in the mouth so by looking at these findings you'll be able to find it as a zinc deficiency a very very important topic five star topic which you must do the cofactor for the mitochondrial superoxide dimutase enzyme and it is the molybdenum then the next question a urine turns black on the standing what will be the diagnosis and it is a classical finding seen in the l kepton urea and questions are also asked on the enzyme deficient in this uh, the enzyme deficient is the homogenesis oxidase and in the chronic patients there will be black bodies uh, accumulating in the body in the ear or in the spine so if it is a chronic presentation then the findings will be given like this and asked to make the diagnosis so l kepton urea also a very very important topic you need to uh, remember all the topics, all the points related to the alkapton urea and the urine turns black on standing is a piece of a cake. If this is given in the question, then your answer is alkapton urea. Then this question, the neutral lipids are stored in. This question was asked in the June 2021 exam as a one-liner and the answer is the triglyceride. Then the next uh, exercise intolerance is seen in the McArdle's disease. So it is a type of uh, glycogen storage disorder so you need to uh, look for all the glycogen storage disorders uh, their types the clinical features and the enzyme deficiency a very very important topic glycogen storage disease neural amino acid transport occurs by this question was also asked in the june 2021 and the answer is the misner's mister cycle then the next topics the competitive inhibition and the non-competitive these are the enzyme inhibitions and enzyme inhibition and these are also a very important topic one-liners have been uh, repeatedly asked on these topics in the every paper. So, in the competitive inhibition, the findings which uh, we can see is the K max will increase and the P max will be same. And in the non-competitive inhibition, the K max will be same, but the V max will be decreased. So, if you're not able to remember this or you are getting confused how to remember it then you can only remember two things in the competitive the kmax increases and in the non-competitive the vm decreases and the rest all is same so this is a small trick to remember this that in one it increases and in one in one it decreases uh, then uh, another very important question the severe combined immunodeficiency it is caused uh, due to the enzyme deficiency adeno adenosine deaminase asked even in the integrated with the pathology uh, so they can give uh, if clinical case then they will give a presentation like uh, recurrent infections then anemia and does not get well soon so take if these findings are seen if these findings are seen in given in the question then you need to mark it as adenosine deaminase then moving on to fat baby sugar seen in kwashiorkor also a very important topic asked in relation with the pediatric and another important question is the the hallmark feature of the kwashiorkor it is the edema the glut present in the skeletal muscle is the glut 4 uh, these uh, transporters the glut transporters and the sglt transporter also a very important topic you must know all the types and the location then the cardioprotective lipid it is the hdl then uh, beta oxidation of fatty acid produces propionyl coa and the acetyl coa acetyl coenzyme a uh, so both are produced and if both are given in the option then you need to select the both and if any one is given in the option then you need to select any one and if uh, the best to choose is the acetyl coenzyme a uh, so 
uh, so it's a slight controversial question because in the different reference books the different answer is given uh, so the best answer to choose would be the acetyl coenzyme a then the function of the chaperones it is the protein folding then the first fatty acid formed it is the palmitic acid uh, so that's it in this video guys i hope the video was useful to you uh, so this was a list of the certain important uh, one-liners from the biochemistry there are another certain one-liners which were asked in the previous years i will try to post another video regarding the uh, one-liners which i couldn't cover in this video like the video if you find it useful share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel uh, thank you guys bye bye